Welcome to a video from the digital lifestyle.com. In this video we're going to look at the new build of Windows 10. This is Windows 10 build 10547 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring, just released uh, last night. And there's a few changes to it, a few visual changes to it, which uh, so far in the pre uh, previous releases, since the actual launch of Windows 10, there's been less sort of visual changes. So let's have a look at what's new in this build. Well, the first one is uh, the most obvious one, and they said this is from feedback, which I think is good, is this extra row of tiles on the start menu. This is in tablet mode now, but if I uh, take it out of tablet mode, and I'll change it around into landscape so we can see it. So instead of having that three row, we've now got uh, a fourth row, and you can adjust this in the settings. So here in the settings, you can do that show more tiles, and you can see there, what it's doing, it adds the extra row of tiles. So without it, let me flip back into tablet mode and we'll look at it, what it looks like this way. So if I hit the start button, you'll see I've got the three columns there, one large and two or three. And then if I change that setting, I've got this space for extra column now, so I'll have to drag those in back in, let me uh, pull that in there. Oops. So there you can see the extra column. So I can add those to it, which I think is a great, uh, it's a great idea. It was kind of a lot of wasted space, and they said this was a uh, request for feedback. And apparently, you can now have up to 2,048 tiles on there. If you had 512 before, you couldn't have more than 512 before. Now you can. But I think. Um, there's still some work for my customization now. If you look, it's how it's affected it on landscape mode. There's a lot of space, but that's, I think I can add some stuff up here. So I'm going to uh, play with that. But it seems to me wrong that that is down there. Uh, and when there's space up there, but it looks like I can do that. Let's see, yeah, there we go. So, but then when I go back into portrait mode, oh it's gone up there, that's not too bad so I think I can work on that and, and that is nice to have that extra space now look how that's gone back down there now, that doesn't look very good does it so there's definitely some bit of a bug with that, oh, I don't like that um, so I don't need to play around with that they'll fix that surely in, in later builds, now something else for tablet mode users, remember in Windows 8.1 you, when you had let me say you have that out when you had the settings one and then you added an extra tile, say the store, or when you wanted to split it, you can do that now. And that seems to work a lot better. And previously it would show the um, the other apps that you could you could paste in or you could snap in side by side. So that actually I think works a lot better. Well that's quite a, a nice fix. Back to close how it was in Windows 8.1. And look, that's corrected itself now as well. So, a bit of a, um, an issue changing from portrait to landscape, but I'm sure that'll be fixed later. Right, so what else has changed? We've got the option of showing the Windows background on the uh, signing screen, so that's the, the Windows um, hero image. If we turn that off, I'll see if I can get it back on. So there's the signing screen now uh, without the Windows image on there. Uh, I think I prefer the window image on there to be honest, but it's nice to have the choice. Lots of fixes in this build, audio is working better, uh, we real tech drivers, uh, Cortana now works with local accounts. Um, on the technical side there is um, Object RTC in Edge, what that means is um, audio and video apps like Skype will, can work in Edge browser without having a plugin. Uh, so that means we should uh, see a, a plugin version web only Skype, which should be good. So it means you don't have to install any plugins because Edge doesn't support plugins anyway. So that's that's good that protocol's been uh, enabled. So there are a few issues in this. Um, the apps don't automatically update for the first time. I think you've got to go into Windows Update that first time. And, uh, oh, sorry, the store and pull them down. There's a few other bits and pieces, but nothing really to to, to worry about. Uh, I'll include a link with all the details in and some of the extra changes that have been included. But there's the main change anyway, this um, start menu change which look, looks pretty good. So that's um, build 
105 for 7 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and you can get your update, devices updated and have a play with it. See you more videos on the digitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel.